Basically what we've been doing is the Red Cup proxy station and interacting with students and asking them the question, what are you thirsty for? Proxy station is just a visual display, whether like a poster board or something else that allows people to interact with it so that we're, we're actually engaging students in, in the questions that we're asking. As students come to the proxy station, they're greeted with the question, what are you thirsty for? And they interact with this panel that asks them to think about the campus and what they see people around them thirsting for and pursuing. And then we ask them, what about you personally? What are you thirsty for? And they take a little bit of time and think about that. And then we ask, would you like to know how Jesus answers those thirsts and what he has to say about it? When I first heard about doing the Red Cap Proxy, I was really excited, actually, um, because it gave us a way to do evangelism from the get-go on campus. Previously, it's been something that we've kind of gotten to later in the year. So when we're bringing new students into the family, new Christian students, they know already we're not just a Christian club, but we're a, we're a group that's on campus with a mission. A significant interaction that I had at the Red Cup Proxy uh, was, a, was a conversation with a major athlete uh, here at UCLA. I think one story in particular um, that I was really surprised by was this woman who um, is actually an international student here. She's from France. I remember asking him what his thirsts were here in college. Uh, he put down glory. The main thing that she wanted and was thirsty for was fun. And yet still, uh, that sometimes left him uh, unsatisfied. And I got to share with him the, the quote from Jesus about how he has a water that doesn't that doesn't run out. She left wanting to come to Catalyst and very interested and just just so surprised that maybe her experience here at UCLA for even a year could be about looking for Jesus and discovering who he is. More than any other proxy station, more than any outreach event, I've seen God showing us the reality of, of what people are actually thirsting for. We see a lot of students who are thirsty for knowledge and understanding and in a search for ultimate truth. We also see students who are longing for a community and acceptance and friendship, which bridges really well into kind of the deeper thirsts that they have and how it points us to Christ. And I think for our leaders, my hope is that it would embolden them and show them that the gospel is more, more relevant than they even think. They're taking their own faith more seriously. They're praying more because they kind of need to because they're scared. Um, they're realizing their dependence on the Lord. They're realizing that the ministry is really dependent on the Holy Spirit. It made me feel confident. It gave me a lot of faith in God because it was clearly not me speaking. It was really God working through me. This is the end of NSO in some ways, but only the beginning of the year. And so the next couple weeks in our large group gatherings, we're going to be presenting the gospel over and over and over for the next three weeks at least. And so I think where our students are at and where we're at right now is We've stepped out in faith, and we're in this position of waiting on the Lord, which I love because there's a sense of dependence now of, God, okay, we've done this, now where next? <laughs>